Easy English Conversations for Beginners with Alpha English. Let's go out to eat. That sounds like fun. Where do you want to go? Let me think a minute. I feel like Chinese. That sounds delicious. I know a good Chinese restaurant. How far away is it? It's only 10 minutes from here. Do we need reservations? Oh no. We can walk right in. Let's go now. I'm hungry. I can't believe how long this line is. This is a popular restaurant, isn't it? Yes, but it isn't a fast food restaurant, is it? It's the slowest hamburger in town. That's because they cook it while you wait. Yes, that's why it's also the best hamburger in town. A great burger and great service. Yes, the workers are very polite. And they're clean. I've been coming here for years. Me too. Excuse me, they just called my number. Lunch was delicious. Thank you. What kind of soup was that? It was tomato soup. That tasted so good. I put lemon and butter in it. The sandwich was good too. Everyone likes bacon and tomato sandwiches. Especially on toast. And the pickles were great too. Tomorrow we'll have rice and fish for lunch. I can't wait. I'm calling the waiter. What's the matter? This steak has too much fat. What do you want the waiter to do? Bring me a better steak. I wouldn't do that. Why not? They will drop the new steak on the floor, step on it, and then spit on it. You're crazy. Then the waiter will give you a big smile as he brings you the new steak. Where do you get these crazy ideas? I used to cook in a restaurant. Let's leave. But we just got here. Did you see the waiter's hands? No. He had dirty fingernails. Really? His nails were black. That's disgusting. And he poured water into our glasses. Yuck, no water for me. I wonder if the cook's nails are dirty too. Who cares? Let's get out of here. This hot bread is delicious. I like this restaurant because they give you free bread. Well, I think we are paying for it. No, look at the bill when we get it. There's no charge for the bread. It is delicious, especially with butter. I think we should just leave after we fill up on the bread. They probably wouldn't like that. I'm eating so much bread that I'm getting full. Then stop eating the bread. Okay, just one more piece. Pass the butter, please. If I owned a restaurant, I would never serve hot bread before the main course. That's terrible. I would never go to your restaurant. Is this a clean restaurant? Well, the tables and chairs look okay. Okay, let's sit down. Check out the silverware. It passes inspection. Here comes the waiter. See if his hands and nails are clean. Well, the waiter looked clean, so I guess it's okay to eat here. You're forgetting about the bathroom. I'm going to just hope that the bathroom is clean. You're not going to examine it before we order dinner? No, I'd rather not find out that it's dirty, because I'm pretty hungry right now. Me too. Let's forget about germs and focus on food. Have you seen our waiter? Here he comes now. We've been sitting here for almost 10 minutes. Oops, I guess I was wrong. That isn't our waiter. We can give him five more minutes and then leave. I'll go up front and talk to the manager. That's a good idea. Maybe they'll give us free drinks for waiting so long. Maybe he'll send us our waiter immediately. Every time we eat out, it's an adventure. Last time, we got seats next to the kitchen. We'll never go there again. Is this table okay? No, it's too close to the kitchen door. How about this table? No, it's too close to the front door. This looks like a nice table. No, it's too close to the salad bar. Okay, I give up. Well, there is one good table. Great. Which one? That one. A group of eight just sat down at it. I don't believe the art world. What is it this time? An Andy Warhol drawing. He's a famous artist. He drew two butterflies and a flower on a napkin in a restaurant. Did he sign it? Yes. Is it beautiful? It's just black ink on a white napkin. And the napkin has food stains. So it's not worth much? Only about $30,000. Without the food stains, it would probably be worth more. Can we go to the baseball game? Of course. I love baseball. So do I. I love to eat the peanuts. I love to eat the hot dogs. I hope we'll see a home run. I hope we'll catch a foul ball. Bring a jacket. Yes, it gets a little cool at night. Bring a glove to catch a foul ball. No, I'll just use my cap to catch a foul ball. Golf is a silly game. It certainly is. You hit a white ball. And then you chase it. And then you hit it again. Finally, you put the ball into a hole in the ground. 
You do this 18 times because there are 18 holes. What's the point? How can it be fun? They pay money to play this silly game. I think golfers have a mental problem. I think they're nuts. Do you want to go fishing? Yes, that's a good idea. Where do you want to go? We can go to the river. Or we can go to the lake. Or we can go to the ocean. Let's go to the lake. Yes, the lake is only 10 miles away. We can be there in 20 minutes. I'll get our fishing rods. I'll get the bait. We'll have fresh fish for dinner. Baseball is fun. I like to hit the ball. I like to run around the bases. I like to slide into the bases. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to slide. I want to be a baseball player when I grow up. Me too. I want to play for the Yankees. Not me. I want to play for the Dodgers. We have to practice every day. I don't like practice. Me neither. It's boring. But practice makes perfect. Let's go jogging. That's a good idea. I bought some new shoes. Are they comfortable? They're very comfortable. How much were they? They were on sale for $80. Do they help you run faster? No, but my feet don't hurt anymore. Then they're worth every penny. You might want to buy a pair. I'll wait until I wear this pair out. Tiger is the greatest golfer in the world. You can say that again. But I'm worried about Tiger. Why is that? Because he likes to scuba dive. What's wrong with that? It can be dangerous. You mean he could drown? He shouldn't scuba dive until he retires. But he dives to relax. He might relax, but it makes me nervous. If his wife doesn't mind, you shouldn't mind. Did you watch that golf tournament? The one that Tiger won? How did he do it? It was nothing for him. He sank a 20-foot putt on the last hole to win by one stroke. He sank a 25-footer last year at the same tournament to win by one stroke. I think he is from outer space. No human could possibly play golf that well. Whenever he needs a shot to win a tournament, he makes that shot. No human can do that. Somebody should check his birth record. I bet it says he was born on Mars. Who's the greatest baseball player? There are so many great players. Yes, but who is the greatest? I'd have to say Babe Ruth. Most people would say that. He changed the game. Yes, he made the home run popular. Everybody loved him, all over the nation. He helped make the Yankees the best team ever. And Ruth was a good person too. He always visited hospitals to cheer up sick kids. There will never be another babe. Did you hear what happened at the baseball game? No, please tell me. Someone punched out someone. That's not nice. It's worse than that. How so? Two guys got into an argument. I'll bet they were drinking. A third guy punched one of the two guys. I'll bet he was drinking too. The victim hit his head on the concrete steps and died. That's terrible. Can't people just have fun at a baseball game? I want to go to the ball game. Is there a game tonight? Yes, it starts at 7 p.m. Can we get tickets? Yes, but only the cheap tickets. How much are they? They're only $5 each. That's a good price. Yes, it's cheaper than a hot dog or a beer. Where are the seats? They're behind the outfield. Maybe we can catch a home run ball. Golf is so hard. What's so hard about hitting a little white ball? It's hard if you want to do it right. You mean like Tiger? No, like a good amateur golfer. What's so hard about golf? There are so many things you have to do right. Like what? Like keep your left arm straight, keep your head down, and follow through. Yikes, who can remember all that? You need to get a lot of lessons when you're really young. Forget it. Golf sounds more like work than fun. Did you hear about the ball player? The home run hitter on drugs? He said a doctor helped him with a personal problem. He said he wasn't using drugs. He apologized to the fans. The league suspended him for 50 games. That will cost him some money. Yes, about $7 million. That will teach him a good lesson. He probably won't use drugs anymore. But it won't stop other players from using drugs. No, everyone always figures that they won't get caught. Did you see Titanic? Yes, it is a great movie. I saw it 12 times. I saw it 8 times. I have the DVD. So do I. Let's go to your home. We can watch my DVD. And then we can go to my home. And watch your DVD. I always cry at the end. Me too. It's so sad. Let's play cards. I don't know any card games. I'll teach you one. Okay, what will you teach me? It's called poker. Is it easy to learn? Yes, it will only take about 30 minutes. Okay, teach me how to play. We each get five cards. Oh, look, I have four tens. That's great, 
But you're not supposed to tell me. Oh, sorry. Okay, I don't have four tens. I'm a good card player. Why is that? Because I watch the other players. What do you mean? People will tell you if they have a good hand. How do they do that? For example, a friend of mine licks his lips. When he licks his lips, you know he has a good hand? I know he has a good hand, so I don't bet. He never wins your money? Nope, and it drives him crazy. He knows you can't read his mind. Maybe he thinks you're cheating. Turn the radio down, please. But I'm listening to it. Well, listen to it more quietly. I can't wait till I grow up. What will you do? I will play the radio as loud as I want. That's okay with me. I will have a radio in every room of my house. Remind me to never visit you. All the radios will be on extra loud. Your neighbors will hate you. If they don't like it, they can move. I hope I win the lotto. Your chances are very small. But you can't win if you don't play. Ha, huh, you can't win if you do play. Someone has to win. That's what everyone says. It might as well be me. That's what everyone says. You're trying to tell me something. That didn't take long. You think I should quit playing. Save your money for school. What's on TV? Nothing much. What about the baseball game? It got rained out. Rained out? Yes, rained out. How could that be? Well, you can't play baseball in a rainstorm. I thought they were playing under a dome. The dome doesn't close. Why doesn't it close? Who knows? They said they'll fix it before next season. Can I try your coffee? Sure. Here you go. Hmm, that's not bad. There's nothing in it. What do you mean? I mean, it's just coffee. I figured that. It's not too bitter for you? It's a little bitter, but it's okay. There's no sugar or cream in it. No, it's a taste you have to get used to. Sort of like beer. Let's take a walk. What's the weather like? Let me step outside and see. It's a little chilly, right? Yes, it is. I'll put on my cap. Wear a jacket, too. I wonder if I should bring my gloves. Maybe you should, just in case it gets colder. I'll put a glove in each pocket. We'll get warmer as we walk. Yes, but it gets colder as the sun goes down. Look at the car chase on TV. That driver is crazy. I can't believe he hasn't crashed. How fast is he going? They say he's going 80 miles per hour. He's going to kill someone. Look, he just hit that car. Oh my goodness. No one is safe on the streets. Now he's slowing down. Maybe he ran out of gas. Look, he just got out of the car and started running. I hope the police catch him. TV news is so stupid. They shouldn't even call it news. Last night they told us about a cat in a sofa. Yesterday they told us about a dog in a pipe. Last week they told us about a bear in a backyard. Last month they told us about a mouse in a restaurant. The weatherman tells us the temperature in every town. The sports guy shows us players fighting. They always tell us what's next. They always make what's next sound exciting, but it never is. It's more like news for kids. They should have kid reporters. I love my computer. Computers are so cool. I love to go online. The internet is amazing. You can travel all over the world. I know. I went to China yesterday. What did you do? I stood on the Great Wall and looked all around. What was it like? It was like the real thing. It was like being there? Yes, I felt like I was actually there. The Beatles are the best. They are the best musical group ever. I love all their songs. I don't know which one I like the best. I like the ones I can sing along with. So do I, like she loves you. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know you should be glad. What a great song. How about let it be? Oh, yes. Let it be, let it be. There will be an answer, let it be. Let's go to a movie. I'd rather not. Why not? You know I don't like crowds. Let's go to an early movie. Okay, that won't be very crowded. What would you like to see? Oh, I don't care. You're the one who wants to go out. Well, I want to see The Pursuit of Happiness. What have you heard about it? It's based on a true story about a divorced man and his young son. Well, I hope it has a happy ending. What's your favorite thing to do? I like to watch people. That's your favorite thing to do? Well, it's one of them. Where do you go to watch people? My girlfriend and I sit outside Starbucks. That sounds like a good spot. We watch people walk by with their dogs. I guess you see lots of different dogs. We don't even know what kind most of them are. There are lots of different kinds, but they all have one thing in common. Yes, they love to sniff each other when they meet. 
They call him Father Dollar Bill. Yes, he was on the TV news today. Every Easter Sunday he gives away money. Is it his money? No. Movie stars give him money to give to homeless people. How much money does he give away? This year he gave away $15,000. That's a lot of money. He gave $100 to people in wheelchairs. What about the other homeless people? They got $1 each. People stood in line just to get $1? Old movies are the best. Even though they're in black and white. A good story is more important than color. Actors didn't curse back then. And there was no violence. People today don't like that. No, today people like lots of action. I like a good story. I like to see actors who are like real people. Like real people with real problems. They still make movies like that. Yes, but they never make much money. Do you get PBS on TV? Yes, everybody gets the public broadcasting system. It puts me to sleep. Tell me about it. A gardening show follows a knitting show. A cooking show follows a sewing show. A travel show follows another travel show. I'll say, I've gone around the world a dozen times already. Now they're adding old TV shows to the old movies. I sure would like to see something interesting for a change. If more people donate money, PBS could offer new shows. Who wants to donate? Public TV should be free. I love to watch Judge Judy. Is that a TV show? Yes, it's on every afternoon. What's so good about it? They have interesting lawsuits. Such as? Yesterday, a woman complained about a cell phone she bought on eBay. Was something wrong with the phone? It works only in Canada. Did the seller know that? Yes, and he didn't tell the buyer. I hope Judge Judy made the seller take the phone back. That woman is a very good singer. Yes, but she looks like a man. What difference does it make? Female singers are supposed to be pretty. Singers are supposed to sound good. They should look good too. There are lots of ugly men singers. Men singers don't have to look good. Then neither do women singers. Well, I would never buy her CD. But you would buy her CD if she was pretty? Yes, I would buy all of her CDs. All the TV stations are going to go digital. Yes, that will occur next month. Most of them are already broadcasting in digital. The digital signal is very clear. Oh no, it isn't. What do you mean? I can't get a single channel. Do you have a digital TV? Of course, but I don't have cable. You don't need to have cable, but you do need a good antenna. But I have rabbit ears. Rabbit ears aren't strong enough. Buy a digital antenna. I don't like riding the bus. Why not? The seats and windows are dirty. Don't they clean the bus every night? I think they do. You should bring some wipes with you. That's a good idea. Then you can wipe your seat and window. People will think I'm strange. Who cares? Everyone is strange. That's for sure. Don't worry about what people think. I don't like riding the bus. Why not? Number one, it's too slow. You're right. A car is faster. Number two, it's usually late. You're right. The buses are never on time. Number three, it doesn't run 24 hours. You're right. Buses don't run late at night. Number four, it's too crowded. You're right. You have to stand in the aisle. Number five, it's unsafe. You're right. Bad guys might rob you. We had a problem at school. What was the problem? Someone cut the tires. What tires? The tires on the cars. Where were the cars? They were in the student parking lot. How many tires were cut? One or two tires were cut on each car. How many cars? Eleven cars. That's terrible. I hope they catch the person. Life isn't fair. It sure isn't. I got a ticket yesterday. What for? I was crossing the street. Were you in a crosswalk? Yes, but the red hand was blinking. So, that's a ticket? Yes, it's a $140 ticket. That's not right. When I started to cross the street, the white walk sign was blinking. You need to walk faster. You're driving too fast. Why do you say that? The speed limit is 65. I know that. But you're doing 75. So is everyone else. But a cop might stop you. No, he won't. Some cars are doing 85. So the cop will stop those cars? Of course. He stops the fastest cars. My friend got a ticket for doing 75. Your friend was unlucky. Remember to put air in your tires. How often do I have to do that? Once every two months. 
That's a lot. What do you mean? That's six times a year. Yes, and it takes about five minutes each time. I'll try. Check your tires or you'll get a flat. Oh, that's not good. No, it isn't. A flat costs you time and money. And I don't have either. You're driving too fast. I'm in a hurry. Don't ever be in a hurry. It's not my fault. You didn't wake me up. That's not my fault. You didn't tell me to wake you up. Well, I meant to. Don't ever be in a hurry when you're driving. Why not? Because you'll have an accident. Most accidents are because people are in a hurry. How do you know that? I read a lot. I thought drunks caused most accidents. Let's go for a ride. Where are we going? Into the mountains. That sounds nice. I want to show you my new car. You bought a new car? Yes, I bought a Cadillac. A luxury car. Luxury plus speed. What are we waiting for? Let me get the keys. Let me get my camera. I have to go to the bathroom. Why didn't you go before we left? I did, but I have to go again. Well, hold on a little longer. I think I'm going to explode. Just hold on. Oh, don't hit any more bumps. We'll be at McDonald's in just a few minutes. I hope they are fast minutes. Think about something else. Think about a hamburger. I'm thinking, but I still have to go. It's the next exit. Hold on. Where's the car? What do you mean? The car isn't here. Where did you park it? I parked it right here. Are you sure? Yes. I remember this big tree. Maybe it's the wrong tree. No, this is the tree. Did someone steal it? I sure hope not. Maybe they towed it away. Look at this traffic. I'd rather not. It gets worse every year. Why are you complaining? We're going almost 20 miles an hour. The speed limit is 65. Well, that's between 2 o'clock and 4 a.m. Where are all these people going? They're all asking the same question. When are they going to fix this problem? They said they need more money. They always need more money. It'll get worse before it gets better. Did you see that car? Yes, he went through the red light. Can we call the police? No, the police don't care. Why not? They have to see it happen. They don't believe us? No, they can only give a ticket if they see it happen. So, what do we do? We don't do anything. Maybe we should honk the horn next time. The driver will just honk back at us. My car is dirty. Why don't you wash it? That's what I'm going to do. Are you going to wash it yourself? Of course. It's not a hard job. I'll help you. Okay, I'll get a bucket. I'll rinse the car first. Then we can scrub it with a wet sponge and soap. After that, we can dry it with a towel. Then it will look like new. And you save $10. It sure is windy today. Paper is flying everywhere. This wind is dangerous for drivers. Especially for drivers of big trucks. The wind blows those trucks over. It blows trees over too. A tree fell onto my dad's car. Was there much damage? My dad had to buy a new car. Wow, that's terrible. Never park your car under a tree. The wind will get you, or the birds will. When are we going to stop? We'll stop at the next McDonald's. How far away is that? I think we'll be there in half an hour. I hope so. I have to go to the bathroom. Well, I can always pull over. No, thank you. I'll just wait. We can kill two birds with one stone. What do you mean? While you're using the bathroom, I'll order some food. Don't order for me. I'm not hungry. I'm very hungry. I'll order for you, and then I'll eat yours. This is such a long line. Look how many cars are waiting in line. They need a left turn arrow. Only two cars can make a left turn every three or four minutes. We'll be here forever. Get out of this lane. But we need to turn left. Forget it. Go straight. Then what? Then we'll just make a U-turn. And then we can turn right at the light. Good idea. It will be so much quicker. I need a cheap car. How much money do you have? $1,000. Well, that should get you something. But I need something that's reliable. You need a car with low mileage. A car that was owned by a little old lady. Where have you looked? I haven't looked anywhere yet. Why not? Because I'll never find one for such a low price. You're right about that. Keep saving your money. Good afternoon, officer. Your driver's license and registration, please. Here you go. Do you know why I pulled you over? I have no idea. All of a sudden I heard your siren. You rolled through that stop sign back there. But I stopped. No, you didn't. You slowed down, but you didn't come to a full stop. Well, nobody else does. So why should I? That's not the attitude of a good driver. But I am a good driver. I've never had a ticket in my life. Well, you've got one now. Here, have a nice day. 
$140. I can't believe it. What are you talking about? I got a ticket downtown for $140. Were you speeding? No, I was crossing the street. Were you jaywalking? No, I was in the crosswalk. So why did you get a ticket? The officer said the red hand was blinking. Was it blinking when you entered the crosswalk? No, the white walk sign was blinking. You should fight that ticket. I'll be your witness. Do you go to college? Yes, I do. What college do you go to? I go to Pasadena City College. Do you like it? Oh, yes, I really like it. Why do you like it? Because it has great teachers. What else? I like all my classmates too. Anything else? Yes, it's not expensive. I lost my new pen. Where did you lose it? I don't know. When did you lose it? I think I lost it today. I used it yesterday. Did you check all your pockets? I checked all my pockets. Did you look in your desk? Yes, it isn't there either. It's probably around somewhere. Oh, well, it only cost me a dollar. Only a dollar? Don't even look for it. Gravity is very important. What is gravity? It's the force that pulls everything down. I don't understand. If you pour water into a glass, the water goes down into the glass. Of course it does. Without gravity, the water would go up. You're joking. Without gravity, you would go up. What do you mean? You would float into the sky like a balloon. That would be fun. I can't read my book. Turn on the light. The light is on. Open the book. The book is open. See an eye doctor. That's what I need to do. He'll give you a prescription for glasses. I'll make an appointment tomorrow. I'll get the yellow pages for an eye doctor. Read the phone number to me. I'll read it very loud, in case your hearing is getting bad too. What do you need for school? I need pencils. Anything else? I need a notebook. Do you need a pen? No, I already have a pen. Do you need a calculator? No, the teacher doesn't permit calculators. How about a dictionary? No, we have a big dictionary in the classroom. Well, I guess that's it. Yes, that's all I need for now. I like this magazine. So do I. I read it once, and I subscribed. It gives you all the news. All the news in only 50 pages. I like political cartoons. I like the beautiful photos of the houses for sale. I always read film reviews. I never miss the food and drink section. I gave a subscription to my parents. Me too. They cancelled their other news magazines. So did mine. My pen is out of ink. Shake it a couple of times. I shook it. There is no more ink. You can borrow mine. Thank you. I'll buy a new one tomorrow. What were you doing? I was writing a letter. Who were you writing to? It's to my mom. Tell her I said hello. Okay. I'll return your pen when I'm done. Take your time. Have you done your homework? Not yet. Then why are you watching TV? This is my favorite show. Go do your homework. But mom. You can watch TV after you do your homework. But the show will be over. There will be another show next week. Please? You know the rules. I hate the rules. I can't wait till I grow up. I can't wait until I graduate. Me too. No more homework. I hate homework. Are you going to college? I can't afford it. Me neither. So what are you going to do? I'm joining the army. You're kidding. You might get killed. I don't think so. After I finish, I'll have enough money to go to college. That's not a bad idea. What is your major? English. What are you going to do with an English major? I'm going to be a teacher. High school or middle school? High school. I teach high school English. I didn't know that. I started teaching five years ago. How do you like it? Do you see all this gray hair? It was totally black five years ago. Maybe I'll teach middle school. Parking at school is impossible. I'll say. I drove around for half an hour. Did you find a spot? I found a spot, but someone cut in and took it from me. Did you yell at them? Yes, I did. And? And he yelled back at me. How rude. But I got lucky a few minutes later. You have to be lucky to find a parking space. This is a huge library. Yes, it has lots of rooms and lots of space. And lots of books. And lots of thieves. What do you mean? I mean, keep your belongings close to you. The only thing in my backpack is used books. But thieves don't know that. They might think that I've got an iPod or laptop in there. Now you're thinking. You'd think a library would be safe from thieves. Not even a church is safe from thieves. How good is your math? I can add two and two. So you're not very good at math? 
I'm terrible at math. Well, I need some help. With what? I'm taking a math course in school. Well, you should ask your teacher or your classmates for help. I can't do that. Why not? They might think I'm stupid. They're not going to think that. They'll be glad to help you. Do you believe in God? Of course. Do you pray to God? Occasionally. When's that? When I need something. Like what? Well, if I have a big test at school. Does God answer your prayers? Yes, I've passed all my tests. Do you ever pray for money? Not yet. I won't need to do that until I graduate from high school. Where do you live? I live in Pasadena. Where is Pasadena? It's in California. Is it in Northern California? No, it's in Southern California. Is Pasadena a big city? It's pretty big. How big is pretty big? It has about 140,000 people. How big is Los Angeles? It has about 3 million people. Do you have a car? Yes, I do. What kind of car do you have? I have a Honda. Is it new? It was new in 2003. So, it's pretty old now. Yes, it is, but it still looks good. Do you take good care of it? Oh, yes. I wash it once a week. Do you change the oil? My mechanic changes the oil twice a year. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't. Do you? I don't have a girlfriend either. Why not? I don't know. Maybe I'm not rich enough. Girls like guys with money. They sure do. They like guys with new cars. I don't have money or a new car. Me, neither. But girls like guys who are funny. Maybe we should learn some good jokes. Where are you going? I have to walk the dog. What kind of dog do you have? I have a little poodle. Poodles bark a lot. They sure do. They bark at everything. They never shut up. Why did you get a poodle? It's my mom's dog. So she likes poodles. She says they're good watchdogs. Can I borrow five dollars? Sure. Why do you need it? I want to buy lunch. Where's your money? It's not in my wallet. Your wallet is empty? I don't have even one dollar in it. Being broke is no fun. Even if it's only for a short while. It's always good to have friends. Friends will lend you money when you're broke. As long as you pay them back. Let's go to the beach. That's a great idea. We haven't been in a while. We haven't been in a month. The last time we went, you almost drowned. No, I didn't. Then why did the lifeguard dive into the water? I think he wanted to cool off. He swam right up to you. And then he turned right around. Maybe you're right. Maybe we should get going. Are you married? No, I'm divorced. When did you get divorced? I got divorced two years ago. Why did you get divorced? My wife left me. Why did she leave you? She said she didn't love me anymore. Wow, that's terrible. Yes, it was. Why didn't she love you anymore? She fell in love with my best friend. I'm bored. What's on TV? Nothing. There must be something on TV. Nothing that's interesting. What about that new game show? Which one? Deal or no deal. Tell me you're joking. I love that show. I watched it once. That was enough. It's on right now. Let's watch it together. I like living here. I agree. Pasadena is a nice city. It's not too big. And it's not too small. It has great weather all year long. It has the Rose Parade. It has beautiful houses. It has wonderful restaurants. It has great schools. It's close to the mountains. The people are friendly. I'm not ever going to leave. We need a new mattress. What's the matter with this one? It's not comfortable. It seems fine to me. I toss and turn all night. You should stop drinking coffee. Look at these marks on my arms. What are they? They are bites. Did the cat bite you? No. The bed bugs in that mattress bit me. Okay. Let's get a new mattress. My laptop is so slow. Buy a new one. I would if I had the money. Why is it so slow? That's a good question. Did you take it to a computer shop? I would if I had the money. Well, I guess you have to live with it. Sometimes I want to throw it out the window. You don't want to do that. Why not? You might hit someone in the head. What's for dinner? I'm not sure. How about a pizza? You had pizza for lunch. But I love pizza. Everybody loves pizza. So why can't I have pizza for dinner? Because you need variety. What's variety? Different things not the same thing all the time. You mean, like a pepperoni pizza instead of a cheese pizza? No, I mean a salad instead of a pizza. 
We need to save money. Why do we need to save money? Because we need to buy a house. But a house is so expensive. That's why we need to save money. How much do we need to save? We need to save enough for a down payment. How much is that? That's about $30,000. $30,000. That will take forever. Not if we save every penny. Okay, here's seven pennies. The ocean is so big. You can't see the end of it. It goes on and on forever. And it's deep too. I think it's five miles deep. Are there fish at the bottom? There are fish at the top and the bottom. Are there more fish or more people? I think there are more fish. I hope so. I love to eat fish. Do animals talk to each other? Of course they talk to each other. What do they talk about? They talk about other animals. What else do they talk about? They talk about food and the weather. Do they talk about us? Of course they talk about us. What do they say about us? They say that we are funny looking. Ha! Huh? We're not funny looking. Animals are funny looking. We're funny looking because we wear clothes. I have to clean the house. Yes, it's very dirty. You can help me. Why me? Because you helped make it dirty. What do you want me to do? I want you to clean the bathroom. Oh, that's easy. Clean the sink, the tub, the counter, and the toilet. That's a lot of work. Tell me when you finish. I don't think so. You'll just give me more work. You're watching too much TV. What do you mean? I mean you're wasting your life. I'm having fun. You're sitting there with your mouth open. Who cares? I care. Do something. Okay, I did something. What did you do? I turned up the volume. That's not what I meant by do something. Will you do something? Leave me alone. Did you write a letter to grandma? Yes, I did. Did you tell her about school? I told her that school is fun. Did you put the letter in an envelope? Yes, and I sealed the envelope. Did you put a stamp on the envelope? I couldn't find any stamps. They're in the kitchen drawer. Okay, I just put a stamp on the envelope. Give me the envelope, and I'll mail it for you. When is grandma going to learn about email? Why are you yawning? I'm sleepy. Why don't you go to bed? I want to watch this TV show. Maybe you should record it. The tape recorder is broken. Then you should watch the rerun. Why? I'm watching the original. But you'll be asleep in about one minute. I'm just yawning because the commercials are on. Okay. I'll tell you how the show ends. It's Sunday. So? You know what that means. I forgot. Sunday means we go to church. Oh yeah? Put on a coat and tie. Why? To show respect to God and others. I'm glad Sunday is only once a week. I hope God didn't hear that. He'll forgive me. Did you feed the cat? I'll do that in a minute. The cat is meowing. He's hungry. Okay, I'll feed him right now. You shouldn't make him wait. I was doing my homework. The cat doesn't care about your homework. The cat doesn't care about anything. That's the way cats are. All they think about is themselves. Maybe we should get rid of him. Of course not. He's family. 